smiles as you drift past the flag. What is up guys, Ian here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where we're taking your mindset from a place of lack to a place of abundance. Today I just want to talk about unconditional love. And you probably know someone or something that literally jumps out of their skin every single time they see you. They're so excited. They can't help but wag their tails and wiggle their bodies just to show how much they love you. And a dog literally has never took a psychology class, has never taken a communications class, but it knows how to show you unconditional love. And the reason why I want to make this video is because if we can show people unconditional love, we will be loved in return. And whether that or not, that's to that person that we're loving or you know, just through the abundance that we attract into our life. If we can truly show true abundance of love within ourselves, we can start to change things and we can start to actually manifest things for the best. Now, speaking of dogs, literally what other animal or other creature doesn't have to do anything for their, uh, their living situation? Of course, like a chicken needs to lay eggs for it to be fed and kept along with like a cow or you know, anything along a like, like a farm animal. But, you know, the dog is just, he's just hanging out with the owner. He's just loving the owner and he's just, you know, showing what unconditional love looks like and keeping that person going, keeping that person happy and stuff. And I mean, I cannot express how important it is to have that example in your life and that's why i think dogs and pets and you know just animals in general you know really open up a level of awareness for yourself to you know really see what's kind of behind the the veil even though they can't communicate with you they're communicating with you in a deeper higher sense they're loving you and really being one with you showing you what it really looks like to be happy so anyway guys I, I really want to emphasize how important it is to treat everybody with unconditional love never tear anybody down never speak any you know words against anybody and really start to live this life of true authenticity as well as true you know love or true you know confident confidentiality uh, only because um, you want to be able to set yourself up for success wherever whenever and it's really hard when you when you break a chain and you you kind of turn loose on someone and they are affected by that and years down the road it might not be pretty if if you guys walk in the same room so the idea that I want to kind of emphasize is if you can show unconditional love and have true patience, patience is huge. It's probably the, one of the most important steps in having unconditional love. And if you can have, if you can have that and be patient for a, a while, still encouraging, still loving and stuff, things will start to come your way. And here's a great example. So a while back, a few months ago, I uh, just had a huge roommate situation, got screwed over, um, lost thousands of dollars in trying to pay for my ex-roommate's uh, poor decisions and poor financial uh, preparation. And quite honestly, I I'm, was very like bitter about it. I was very wicked. I was like, what the heck? How could anybody do this to someone? And uh, although I just kept on encouraging, I saw him a few months, oh, like a month ago, and all I could do is just like, I didn't even think about it. All I could do is just encourage him and like help him and, you know, not be angry because if I was angry, it just set me up for failure. It literally would set me up to fail in the future. And I didn't want to fail. I wanted my money back. And the way that I know that I'll get my money back is if I love and treat him with utmost respect unconditionally matter of fact he actually paid me uh, $300 the other day even though 
that's nowhere near how much he owes me. I mean, it's a good start. And I really appreciate that he actually, you know, has a, you know, has a conscious or whatever he has feelings that, you know, he can't disregard. And that's the thing, everybody does have feelings and it's just a matter of how you treat them, whether or not they show or they don't show uh, how they feel. So what happened is I gave him unconditional love and you know, instead of being bitter and you know, resenting even more and pulling back even more, he's actually come closer and uh, started to actually pay his dues. So that's awesome guys. It is the power of unconditional love. Just imagine all your pets that you ever had, the pets that you have right now, you know, you can learn something from them. They're gonna give you unconditional love. And if you can learn how to communicate with a dog and you know, be very friendly and loving to a dog, you can be friendly to and loving to a human. And it, it, it's literally, if you can start with something easy, start with a dog, which is like easy, doesn't really um, need too much, um, with other than like body language and and other verbal cues but you know being able to use what you learn from a dog into treating people dude you you have you know taken one step closer to human relationships and if you really want to take that step to the next level read how to win friends and influence people it'll change your life but read it really slow read it read it a chapter at a time and then read that chapter again so you know really taking that information really take it um, and not take it for granted because it is it is probably the most influential book that I've ever read um, I did read it uh, prior to going to ASU and it helped me out tremendously but I'm reading it again guys and I cannot express how influential it's been in my human relationships as well as my dog relationships so <laughs> Hope you guys like this video. If you like these videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But other than that, guys, have a beautiful day, and I'll catch you later. Namaste.